You may also want to add some of your own custom CSS. Uh, I'm going to come in here and preview this. And one thing I don't like about uh, the layouts, if I let me close out some other windows here, if I come in here and I start a course, I don't like this whole lesson title. I'd rather just get right into the content. And so one thing I do is I right click and go down to inspect element. And I want to find out what that lesson title section is so I can actually hide that. And so I'm going to come in here and resize this a little bit. And I'm going to hover over this section. I get the whole section here. And that whole section is called page underscore header container. And so I'm just basically grabbing the class name. I'm going to just double click on that and copy that class name. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my own CSS. And so I'm going to link to my CSS first of all. And I'm just going to add a comment in here saying Jeff CSS. And now I'm going to add a link. And that link is going to be CSS. Let me just kind of rearrange this just so it matches above here. I just like to have it all matching there. And now I'm going to add a lib slash jeff.css. Well, I haven't created a file called, actually, let's do my style. I haven't created a file called mystyle.css, so I need to create that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Command N or Command, or sorry, or Control N. And then I'm going to hit Command S. And then I'm going to save a file called mystyle.css inside of this lib folder. So this is my own CSS file. And so now I can start adding my own CSS right inside of there. And this is what I called it, mystyle.css. And that's what it's called right here, mystyle.css. Well, I grabbed that what that class name is. So I'm going to hit dots, and that's how you reference a class. If you're not familiar at all with uh, CSS, you may want to become uh, or take a course on learningdojo.net or something to become a little bit more familiar with CSS. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, come back in here. It doesn't look like I got that class name fully. So I'm going to grab that full class name, copy that, paste it there. And then I'm going to say display equals none. Now if I come in here and hit refresh, you can see that that title has gone away. I still have my title over on the left hand side, I still have my completion, everything else. But that title itself that was taking up a whole lot of space has now gone away for every single page. And so I still have uh, my videos, I still have my, my different interactions here. I still have everything else is pretty much the same except for that title, which again to me was annoying. That's how I got rid of the title, is just by adding my own CSS and then grabbing that class name and saying, okay, display equals none. I like to keep it in my own CSS so I don't affect the main CSS. And so I can just go in here and just get rid of that um, by hiding it there. So that's how you do some customizations and, and affect some of the player a little bit with your own CSS.